How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a lovely night. And the store is Walmart. I've been taking advantage of that of rich that we get from purchasing the Alme using the five dollar of one manufacturer's coupon. Um, at Walmart, you do get overage, so I've been getting the cash, and I've also, and thanks to that, I've been able to, you know, I've used that cash to purchase other things that I needed, or to just, you know, it has been going to my coupon, uh, couponing fund. So, um, when you purchase two of them, using that five dollar of one manufacturer's coupon found on the Smart Source, one twenty fourth. And that coupon has no size restriction. So those are the eye makeup removers, uh, 15 count from Alme. And they are a dollar and twenty-five cents. Um I've been able to, for example, everything that you look that you're looking at, everything that you're looking at, nine items, all of that. I only paid 30 cents before taxes. So basically the overage from um, the two five dollar of one I'll make coupons pay for everything else. And I'm gonna tell you something that makes this transaction even better. At the end, <clears throat> before taxes, I actually ended up with a 70 cent overage before taxes. Now remember that. Okay, the gain, the gain pots or the tie pots, they are $3.97. I've been getting either whatever I've been able to find. If they have the tie pots, I've been getting the tie pots. If they have the gain, which I like the gain better than the tie, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I like the gain better. It's just a matter of my, you know, that's my preference. They have the tie like this time. I was super happy. Um, then those are the ones I'm getting. Those are the 14 count for $3.97. Using a $3 off of one manufacturer's coupon found on the PNG uh, 124th. Some of you guys got um, the $2 off of one uh, tie coupon. That you, well, you could use it towards either the gain or the tie. Um... And some of us got the three dollar of one, so I used four of those coupons, and I also used two manufacturers coupons for the racers. Each coupon is for two dollars of one, and that coupon could be found on the Red Plum one thirty first. The coupons that we got this past weekend, Red Plum, and that is a two dollar of one manufacturer's coupon. I used two of those for the Naxima racers and those are the four count. And I believe, let's see, those were two dollars and ninety seven cents. So after the coupon they end up being two dollars. The tie pods end up being ninety seven cents because they are three ninety seven before coupon. And the tie pods well a dollar and ninety and twenty five cents the fifteen count. Now this sauce Okay, that sauce right there. That sauce, there is a cashback rebate for a dollar using the application Checkout 51. So, you basically purchase the sauce. There was, I'm not sure if it's still available, but there was a one dollar of one printable coupon found on coupons.com and it's thanks to that coupon how much is that sauce? Okay, the sauce is two dollars and ninety-eight cents. After using that one dollar of a one coupon, you pay a dollar and ninety-eight cents. Then, when you you know take a picture of your receipt and you claim your one dollar ninety-eight cents, that's how much it ends up being ninety-eight cents. <clears throat> so. That's the reason why I decided to get that sauce. Because I wanted to make sure that I ended up with everything completely free. But I wanted to get all of this. And I definitely wanted to make sure that I got something that was going to give me, you know, some type of overage. 
And so I'm going to show you my receipt. You're looking at nine items, four coupons for the gain, two for the razors, two $5 off of one coupons for the Alme, and one $1 off of one printable coupon for the sauce. And the ones for the gain, as I said before, $3 off of one each coupon. The razors, $2 off of one each coupon. So, there you go. Very first coupons that I give <clears throat> when I every time that I've done a transaction using the Almay coupon, when I was uh, going to purchase something else, I always give them all my other coupons first. That's just the way I feel more comfortable. And then at the end, I give the Almay. There you see the, the uh, gain. You see the $3 off of one coupon. You see the razors, $2.97. And you see the $2 um, off of one coupon. You see the Almay remover, $1.25. And you see the $5 off coupon, $5 off of one. You see both of them. And there you see the stir fry sauce, $2.98. And you see the $1 off of one printable coupon. My subtotal, that is before taxes, was $0.30. Cents. I could have had overage instead. You know, I could have left something or I could have bought something cheaper and ended up with zero. And they would have ended up giving me overage. But I didn't want that. I wanted to pay as little out of pocket, but I didn't mind paying instead of having overage, at least for this transaction. So, 30 cents before taxes, my taxes were a dollar and 46 cents. So, a dollar and 46 plus 30 cents is a dollar and 76 cents. I'm not going to include my taxes because taxes depend on your region, state, etc 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 so my subtotal for all nine items was 30 cents nine items and don't forget before taxes the one dollar that I got back for purchasing that subtract to one dollar the 30 cents which is my subtotal what everything costs before taxes and that will give me an overage of 70 cents. Now, if you want to include taxes, subtract to the 176, the $1 that I got back, and all of this would have been 76 cents. We're not even going to, I'm not even going to bother to break it down per item because I don't think it's necessary. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Share the video. I understand some of you have not been able to take advantage of that Alme uh, coupon and stuff. It all depends, you guys, on who you're dealing with. I mean, sometimes you might even have the coupon policy with you and everything. And that does not mean... I forgot a long time ago when I was starting, um, there was a well-known couponer. And she was telling her story and stuff, something that happened to her at Walmart. And she was saying that she had the policy. She spoke to the manager and everything, and nothing was resolved. She left because she didn't want to get into an argument or anything like that. And what she did was she called corporate. You know, so sometimes even the managers, you know, might not be helpful. It all depends. Sometimes you may be right. You might have the policy. You might be completely right. And everything and if somebody wants to be difficult they will be difficult so what I will do if I were you I will go to a different Walmart if that happens you know sometimes it's just as simple and as easy as that instead of getting in an argument but of course everybody's gonna do what they're gonna do and don't get discouraged just because it didn't work at one Walmart does not mean that you cannot get your deal somewhere else at another Walmart. Remember, your purpose is to get the deal. Therefore, don't let anybody discourage you from getting your deal. Okay? Your savings. Don't be discouraged because of people who decide to be difficult. 
not everybody is that way hopefully you guys will be able to take advantage of this deal hopefully you'll be able to enjoy the savings thank you so much but don't never let anybody discourage you ever 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 not every time is it gonna be a bad experience have a lovely night thank you